Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you're keeping fine and safe in this pandemic situation. So let's start this video today. This video is all about NBHN, the scholarship which is available for PhD students, the ones who are likely to be interested for PhD. BHM for PhD. The National Board for Higher Mathematics, which is NBHM, was set up by the Government of India under the Department of Atomic Energy, DAE, in the year 1983 to foster the development of higher mathematics in the country, to formulate policies for the development of mathematics help in the establishment and development of mathematical centers and give financial assistance to research projects and to doctoral and postdoctoral scholars. NBHM functions essentially autonomously framing its own budget, taking into account the funds made available by DAE. NBHM financial support. NBHM provides financial support to the Mathematics Olympiad activity run in the collaboration with the Homi Bhabha Center for Science Education. For the students at the junior college or high school level, NBHM provides financial support for holding conferences or seminars or workshops and instructional schools. Granting financial support to libraries of mathematics departments of universities and research institutions in the country is one of the major activities of NBHM. NBHM grants and scholarships. Talking about this, NBHM gives out grants and scholarships for deserving candidates at undergraduate, graduate and PhD or research level in the field of higher level mathematics. Candidates who wish to pursue their PhD can apply for the NBHM exam. Upon successful selection, candidates will receive a scholarship or stipend for the five years of their research period. NBHM grants various funds and allowances for a PhD fellow such as library grant, conference grant, project and travel grant among others. Candidates can go to the official website of NBHM and apply it to the exam if they fulfill the NBHM eligibility criteria. NBHM PhD uh, eligibility criteria is applicants for the NBHM PhD scholarship must be mathematically motivated and hold a master's degree in pure or applied mathematics or statistics or must be a final year student of, the, of these degree courses. They must have a good academic record, first class or equivalent grade in all the years from class two level to the present educational qualification that is there. Students who are uh, having or having passed a BSc honors course with a second class may also apply, provided they have a master's degree or are in the final year of the same. Students holding a four year BSc or equivalent degree or those in the final year of such a program may also apply, but they are eligible to receive the NBHM scholarship only if they secure admission to a recognized PhD program 
by the next year August. Students who wish to apply for the PhD or integrated PhD program of HRI, IISER Pune, IMSC or NISER must apply and appear for the written examination. For this purpose, apart from the students that I mentioned earlier, students holding a BSc or BSTAT or BS or BTEC or BE degree or those in the final year of such a degree course with a consistently good academic record from the plus two level, as I mentioned earlier, may also apply. Students for this doctoral program need not apply separately to these institutions again. The eligibility is restricted to students who have completed their BSc or MA or MSc or equivalent degree and have secured admission to a recognized PhD program on or before the specified date. Now coming to the age limit, there is no upper age limit for NBHM. While there is a consideration of educational qualification only. Now how to apply for NBHM, the PhD the next year or this year in fact. Firstly, step one, registration. The candidates are required to register on the portal and create their profiles using a valid email address. Second, application. Log in to the portal with your registered email address and password, which was created in the first step, step one. Fill out some details about yourself and also the choice of the zone after confirming for the uh, correctness of the entries you have made. You will be led through the fees payment process after this. Once the fees is paid, an application number will be generated. You will be able to download a received come payment pre-admission ticket. The uh, recipient or the received come pre-admission ticket will also be sent to the registered email which you had provided while giving all your information. Now coming to the step three, admit card. Make two photocopies of the received come pre-admission ticket that you have received. Produce two original copies of the admission ticket as I am going to discuss. Paste a recent color photograph of yourself in each photocopy and complete the postal address for correspondence and enter your roll number and signature. Now, how to find your roll number? To find your roll number, you have to wait until the center-wise list of the candidates are published. This will be published by NBHM directly. You can find your roll number by looking up the entry for your name. Carry both original copies of your admission ticket to the test center where you are appearing for the examination. NBHM PhD for 2020-21. The exam pattern. NBHM candidates have to appear for a written examination. The NBHM test will have questions based on topics normally covered in the master's degree programs in mathematics. The NDHM test will be of 150 minutes duration. There will be short answer questions in NDHM test or examination. Based on the performance in the NDHM written test, candidates will be shortlisted for an interview before the final selection. There will be no negative marking. So that is a plus point for you all. Now, NBHN PhD syllabus, 
Since this is a PhD course, the syllabus is not well structured and predefined. Instead, it covers topics from UG and PG levels of mathematics. The question paper is divided into three sections. Syllabus, talking about the syllabus of this. Firstly, section A. You will have section A, the algebra. In the HM al algebra syllabus covers multiple subtopics as I will mention. Abstract algebra, set theory, binary operations, matrix theory, groups algebra, rings and fields, polynomials that comprises calculus, uh, calculus, matrix polynomials, roots. Now coming to section B, analysis. Now syllabus for this section B, syllabus of this will be Analysis uh, syllabus covers mainly majority three sections such as complex, functional, real. Now candidates are suggested to cover these topics thoroughly as they are huge or vast. I will now mention the syllabus in the NBHM analysis syllabus in details. Complex analysis. Here you will have polar coordinates. Poles and residues, real analysis syllabus will have uh, sequence and limits, metric spaces, series, infinite series, expansion, Taylor series expansion. Coming to the functional analysis syllabus, here you will have continuous function, maxima and minima, differential function, defining function. Now coming to section C. Geometry syllabus. NBHM geometry syllabus contains mainly two subtopics. Now you can check uh, the details that I'm going to give you. Plain algebraic syllabus that will be there. Here you will have line, circle, uh, ellipses, elliptical curve, cubic curves, spheres, that is 3D shapes. Now talking about the algebraic geometry syllabus, here you will have polar coordinates, Cartesian coordinates and all this. Now NBHM PhD counseling. One very important factor to note here is the fact that the NBHM has very limited seats. Hence the competition is very very tough. Post results, candidates will receive a call for admission and further process such as document verification and so on. As an NBHM candidate, you must be prepared with all your necessary documents. Institutions which comprises IISER Pune, IISER Mohali, NISAR, IMST and others that will consider NBHM scores for admission will publish their own admission notification. NBHM will not post any admission notification. The candidates are advised to apply to these institutes separately. Every college will have its own counseling processes. The counseling process will require the candidates to produce the academic record along with their identification and personal details. Now talking about the information on PhD, that is the PhD scholarships. Fine. Students possessing master's degree in mathematics or physics or statistics and are wishing to take up research work in any branch of mathematics including mathematical statistics and mathematical physics leading to a phd degree are eligible to apply for the phd scholarships awarded by nbh the selection of the scholars 
is based on academic records and the result of a selection test or interview by a selection committee constituted by NBHM. Applications are invited through advertisements in leading national newspapers normally during the month of November each and every year. The scholarship is expected to do research work under an approved guide in an institution or university of his or her choice. Prior to joining an institution for doing research, the scholar is given a choice of joining some select institutions to take courses in mathematics, which will be helpful in a proper understanding of mathematics and consequently resulting in good research.